Hey guys and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you've joined me because a lot of you on my two ingredient biscuit video asked me, I kind of in passing mentioned Formula L, that that's what kind of biscuits my family was used to. Many of you have asked me what Formula L is. Well tonight we're going to be making Formula L biscuits. That's what our family is used to and what we normally eat. And so that's what we're making tonight. And I hope you stick around and join me. Now's a good time to hit subscribe. So if you remember back on my two ingredient biscuit, which has over 200,000 views, um, and that was my first time trying the two ingredient biscuits, and I'm sure you could tell by my reaction, I was amazed. On that video, I mentioned that our family usually eats Formula L biscuits. And, and when I say Formula L, I am referring to Southern Biscuit Mix Formula L. The Formula L is, it already has the lard and the butter in there. Tell them where to find it at. This is fairly local in your southern states, but if you do not, cannot find it. Now let me tell you where to find it in the grocery store. First of all, you may be looking in the wrong area. It's on the flour aisle, but it's near the Bisquick. And, and, and that type stuff. So it's not necessarily with the self-rising and all-purpose. Look more towards the Bisquick. Um, it'll be near that. But if you can't find it in your stores, you can find it on Amazon. 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 And let me tell you, this is the best biscuit you will ever have. And let me just go ahead and say, in case you are across the pond, these are not quite like scones, but I know you call them scones. But here in the South, we call them biscuits. And so we're going to make Formula L biscuits tonight. Now, on the back, there is a recipe. It is a no-fail recipe. Idiot proof. Idiot proof. Um, but I'm going to cut it in half because that makes, it makes 24 plus biscuits. We all know I'm on a little healthy kick, and I am not going to eat 24 biscuits. In fact, I'm just going to taste one for you guys tonight, and then we're taking the rest to my daughter and her husband and let them enjoy them. I'm sure Bryant will get one. I might nibble. He likes his biscuits. So, the recipe on the back is um, three and a fourth by one and a fourth, but we're going to do one and a half. Um of the mix so and this is a half cup scoop so there's a half a cup i'm gonna zoom in here real quick see if we can oh. find he's wanting to show you some of these um yellow so flakes here, see those yellow flakes right there i don't know if you can see them good in there there's one you can see that one see that. that's part of the butter and the lard that's already in there butter and lard already in the mix all right so i've got a cup and a half in here and i'm just going to make what let me talk to you about my pan just a minute i've gotten a lot of compliments on my antique pan yes it is enamel it is antique and i did get it at an antique store somebody was worried that these would chip and but these are smooth like scuff marks they're not actually chips so it is safe um but that's just because it's an antique all right go back to what you did in the center. all right i just kind of made a whale and that's just my way of doing it you don't have to do it that way all right so i'm going in with a half a cup of buttermilk remember three to one now i keep my buttermilk around and i keep my flour around if it's really wet outside if it's raining you might need to add a little bit more um of the mix or if it's dry you may need to add a little bit more 
of the, and I can tell you now, I'm going to need um, more buttermilk. And once you make enough biscuits, you know how it feels, and you won't ever have to measure. You make enough of these, I probably put an eighth of a cup more in there. You don't want it too dry, and you don't want it too doughy. Right. And you'll get to knowing the feel of it. You won't even have to measure. You'll be one of those cooks that... It's a texture thing. Yeah. And mainly, I just make sure I don't have any dry piles of the mix around. And even if you get it too moist, it's okay. All right, let me move my mix. I think that's so, good. So, so they kind of just make a little dough ball. Make you a little dough ball. And your hands get messy, so let me take my ring off. Put it in my sweet little jar somebody made me. We'll move the buttermilk. I have self-rising flour right here. You can use all-purpose or whatever you want. But I just use that to dust my, my board with. And I dust my board good. And I not only dust my board, but I dust my dough a little bit too. Just on the top, right? Just on the top, and I work it in. Work it in, work it in. And I'm gonna knead it just a few times. Go back and count. I lost count. <laughs> we'll That's say five. Four, five. <laughs> six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Ocho. Nine. Nueve. And it really doesn't matter how many times you knead it. It's more of just getting it smooth. Yeah, but don't over knead it. Yeah, you, you don't want to overwork it or it'll be a tough biscuit. That's right. We There's have, nothing worse than a tough biscuit. It takes a lot of gravy to get the toughness out. All right, Dad, how, how deep would you say that, that is? That is about three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch. Now, let me tell you what I'm going to do before I cut them out. I'm going to go ahead and get my cookie sheet ready. Tell them what you're doing to the oven over there. Got the oven preheated to 450. And something is on my tin foil in there. I smell it. But that's okay. All right, I'm going to take... It's kind of like Lazarus in the Bible. It's stinking. It's stinking. It's, yeah. it's going to smoke. Yeah. yeah, we'll do that. yeah. Um, I just took a little bit of Crisco. Mine's off-brand, but anyway. And um, I'm only going to put it in the center where I'm going to put my biscuits. You know what? You tell them why you use off-brand Crisco? Because my husband's cheap. Because her husband's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you guys know what the bird said when they flew over Kmart? Cheap. What they say? Cheap, 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 cheap. cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> All right. So I have just a, probably a two, two and a half inch um, biscuit cutter. Look, you can see the yellow butter right there in the top. Oh yeah, see you it? can see it see right it really, there. See it really good. Oh, and here on the side see of the it biscuit. In the side of it. Look at that. That is going to make your tongue smack your brains out right there. Now I always, you can do what you want to do. If you like the edges of your biscuit crispy. Then separate them. I put them touching because it helps them rise. Helps them to rise. All There's right. something about them touching that transfers heat. They kind of climb up each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. We'll put that one there since it's kind of smiling at it. And then you'll have extra, so you just work it again and get it back into a smooth state. You could roll it and, out if you wanted to, but it's just easier and quicker to do it this way. And the thing about kneading it, the more time, you don't want to overdo it, but doing it a few times, you're adding layers, which makes that fluffy, flaky type biscuit. For the proper cooking terminology, you're aerating your dough. I'm aerating my dough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys didn't know I knew that. I didn't either. <laughs> See... I mean, I did less than half. Well, see, I'm just going to leave that one as one whole biscuit. I did less than half of the mix. And so, if I had to roll this out and made the full... Or made them thinner. Or made them thinner, we would have a bunch of biscuits. Yeah. And I always make a lot of biscuits for a lot of... For my family. And um, and now I just, now I just play with the dough. <laughs> Not what? really. All right, so we'll bring you back as soon. Oh, it is 450. We can go in. It's ready to roll. Didn't you hear it beep? Yep. We're going in, and I'll let you know how long as soon as we come back because I check it. It's not always true to time. So The, the back says about 10 to 
10 to 12 minutes? 10 to 12 minutes. And I find it's usually about 12 minutes. So, but I'll let you know for sure when we come back. Okay, guys, they're ready. I think I've let them get just a tad bit brown, but we're going to get them out and they're going to be delicious. There they Ooh, are. Look at there. Look at the rise on them things. Show my toe they are. Look at there. Mm -hmm. There. They're about, let me see, uh, two inches. Watch out, that thing's hot. I did touch it. It's about two inches. <laughs> oh, scare me to death. All right, I got us some softened butter here. I got us a plate. Which one you want to try? Are you going to butter the top of them? Oh, yeah. He likes us to butter the top. I like to butter the top. Look there. I like to see them puppies glisten. Did you tell him you get to have a cameraman tonight? I do. I love it when I have a cameraman. He can zoom in on the food, and sometimes I forget to I move zoom. the camera. I can zoom in on her. Yep. <laughs> um, sometimes I forget to move the camera, and you're, like, stuck looking at me, and you're wanting to see the food. and <laughs> I'm like, oh, y'all missed it. You going to get some jelly? You want jelly? Yeah, in mine. In yeah. yours, okay. Well, we're gonna share the same one. Um, I don't think I have strawberry. That's fine. Just get blueberry or blackberry or grape. Grape. Concord grape jelly. All right. So let me open this up for them. Right. It is hot. Show them how fluffy that biscuit look, is. Look, look, look at that biscuit, y'all. Show, show them the, not not the butter. Can you st still see the butter on the other side? Yeah, look at that. Hang on. Look, look. look at that. See that yellow? Man, look at that. I might have been too close. Oh, look, look at you that. can see the bits of see butter the bits in of there. butter on the inside? Oh, goodness. I have just gained one pound looking. <laughs> just by looking. <laughs> you can just put a slab of butter in there and close that thing back up and eat it if you want to. You want to do that instead of jelly? Well, that's kind of what I was going to do. That's fine. Let's do that. Put plenty in there. Put plenty of butter. We'll leave the jelly out. We you want won't... half meat, half or what? No. Put plenty of butter and close Put it. Plenty of butter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He he had Perfect. he's he's got heart disease. <laughs> I got heart disease, diabetes. So there's yours. There's mine. Y'all can't watch me eat this. And I'm just gonna eat half of mine. Look at there. Mm, look at there. I'm watching him eat it. Perfect. Can you hear him <laughs> chewing? It is perfect. Can you hear him chewing? Usually I've got him tasting it. Fluffy. Oh, it's so good, y'all. Y'all hadn't had bread in so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carb overload. Mm -hmm. My body's going into some kind of shock. This is not keto friendly. No, but... It's Leslie's belly friendly. Mmm. So good. Y'all, whether you make the two ingredient biscuits or you make these, you cannot go wrong. Can we show them the bag again? Okay, put it up. I keep mine in the refrigerator, but you do not have to. That's just where I keep mine. <clears throat> See the big red Formula L right there. There's recipes on the back for biscuits, cheddar drop biscuits, um, pancakes, cobbler. So you can do a multitude of things with this, just like you do biscuit. But let me tell you, it's better than biscuit. Much better. Hands down. I mean, down. this is like a homemade biscuit. Matter of fact, tell them, this is what we used to use in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I'm out full now. We used to own <laughs> a little restaurant in Winston-Salem with our youth pastor, uh, Chris Sostida and jessica and um we use this same formula to make our biscuits every morning for our customers and i understand there is some large restaurant chains that you all may know about that uh, uses the same thing so get you some southern biscuit mix formula l anytime i mention formula l this is what i'm talking about look he's eating my other biscuit my other half of my biscuit i only ate half i was a good girl 
So, Caroline and Jamie have four biscuits, four and a half biscuits to, I have a feeling the half's not going to make it. But, um, next time you go to the store, look for the Southern Biscuit Mix formula. If you can't find it, order it off Amazon. It is worth it, I promise you. I can show you how to make, um, just flour and Crisco biscuits, and, but... This is so much easier. You don't, the guesswork is out of it. All you have to do is add the buttermilk. And sometimes you may need to add a little drop just to add in some of the dry mix. Or if you get it too soupy, you may have to add in a little bit of the, but you'll know. And once you make it long enough, you'll be just not even measuring anything and you'll be impressing your family forever. It's a great hidden secret. It is. Delicious. You can bake these in a cast iron skillet. Whatever you want to bake them in is fine. We've never had anybody we've told about this that has regretted doing it. No. Everybody loves Southern Biscuit Mix Formula L. And I just shorten it to say Formula L. So that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so thank you guys for watching. If you don't mind, please subscribe. And the best compliment you can give me is to comment and give me a thumbs up. Um... We appreciate you all so much. We love you guys. And um, there's some upcoming videos. We're going to have a get to know us video for some of our new subscribers because we've had a huge growth on our channel. And I want you new subscribers to know us and know our story. So we're going to have a get to know us video. And uh, he's telling me I had something on my face. She had flour. Had flour on my face. When y'all weren't looking, I did this. She's glistening with flowers. <laughs> but, um, and then we've got um, several more videos coming up. It's going to be really good and exciting. So, thank you guys for joining us. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. And if you get formula ale, you can make a good homemade biscuit. Bye, y'all.